Hello, a bit of a mixed bag this, this week, some serious, some flippant, some rather silly. We'll start with austerity measures. A minimum wager from Kent, who decided to live in a tent, when asked why she chose to leave her rented house, she said, all of my money is spent. Yeah, minimum wage doesn't go far. We follow that with bereavement. I still count the days since you passed, and wonder as I reach my last, though this life be finite, will we reunite as many believers forecast? I still tiptoe past the old chair where you echoed your morning prayer with a smile in your eyes for each joyful sunrise, though I know you are no longer there. But although you did not live for ever, and we knew our lives' paths had to sever, I'll shed no more tears but remember the years of happiness we spent together. The Ship of State I despair of our failed human race, despite some successes in space. The entangled regimes with their feed-the-rich schemes here on Earth, a malignant disgrace. Empowered by the people, they say, in this puppeteer democracy, Yes, we vote them in, but who pulls their strings as they dictate our freedoms away? Have I grown impassioned by hate? We all have a role in our fate, but while protests are banned, there's no check to the hand controlling the tiller of state. That's another one. Um, yes, this is quite a gloomy week, actually, when I look at this one. The Glass Waterfall. It's uh, about an object not too far from where I am now. For the best cancer treatment of all, there's a hospital called the Churchill. Before each appointment, be sure for a moment to visit the glass waterfall. It stands in the lobby, well lit, but most choose to hurry past it, on foot or on gurneys. Their frenetic journeys allow them no moment to sit. It is an oasis of calm, stoic, timeless and warm, but its beauty is lost on those who swarm past in a chaotic race against time. So if you're struck by the big sea and you're calling called to the oncology block at the Churchill, allow time, if you will, to bathe in its tranquillity. Finally, rather silly one, feline fields. My farm, if it weren't for the cats, would soon become knee-deep in rats, but being untutored, I left them unneutered. Now we're just swarming with cats. Ah, another week. Only five this week, I'm afraid life interfered rather. Uh, it's free to subscribe if you wish to do so, and it would be lovely to see you again next week. Bye for now.